Hello my dear friends, a very warm welcome on another session for Salesforce Advanced Admin Session. In our previous modules, what we did was we created or we managed our data, right? We did the data management with the help of import wizard and data loader. Hope you guys have created multiple records with the help of both and with the ease of understanding of how we can do the mapping and how we can save the mappings if we have to do it on a multiple time basis okay now uh, there is again some management rules that are being involved within our salesforce what exactly management rules that i am talking about i am talking about the assignment rules and the escalation rules for example you are working in a service industry okay you uh, if i give you an example of uh, suppose an electricity board okay in haryana we have dhpvn okay and uh, there are a multiple uh, group of people who have been assigned for different reasons okay and depending on different capabilities of a particular person one uh, maintains the uh, out lane outside uh, poles transformers one maintains the lines and on depending on different categories one maintain in plant uh, maintenance depending on those criteria if there are some cases that are being raised and they need to be assigned to that particular person right if i have a problem in my line outside my home i cannot call the maintenance person of the plant right there should be a particular line man who has to come and maintain our uh, in-house or in our lane um, the lines right so that is being monitored by the assignment rules and in a similar fashion if we go with the escalation rules suppose my power of uh, my home or my whole uh, society is being cut for suppose two hours and we have a maximum violation time of one hour or two hours if i say and it has been two hours ten minutes so the case that i have raised with the concerned electricity department needs to be escalated that this particular case cannot be opened for more than two hours and we need to priorly resolve it in your manager or the plant head will get a notifications or they'll see that on a particular case and highlight mark is being tagged so we need to solve this case on a priority basis so that is called an escalation rule so without wasting any time we will see in what uh, we can do with the help of assignment rules and escalation rule in details so the first point that comes in today's topic is the assignment rules the assignment rule is only used for two objects that is one is lead and the other is case okay for these two objects we are using the assignment rules an assignment rule dictates to whom a lead or a contact is assigned based on criteria that is specified within salesforce right depending on the condition suppose i have a line problem that needs to be assigned to a line man i uh, the whole uh, block or the whole city is having a problem then there is a plant issue if there is a plant issue then that case needs to be assigned to the uh, plant maintenance person right so this is what we are talking about uh, uh, the assignment rules if we go to the next point it says as the name suggests we it tells us after what criteria the records needs to be assigned to which specific person or a queue or there should not be uh, there can be a particular person or there can be a group of person who uh, to whom the cases can be assigned right they are very easy to create and they help to manage case and lead records within our org the minimum number of cases that are being open within your org or within your company the best it is 
performing right so and if i give an example of a lead also suppose um, i am a salesforce person i go to a conference right in which we have a tendency of attracting some clients by showing our demo or uh, talking about our organization and this is what we uh, call in as leads right if I go to a conference or a campaign in which we can find in some leads that uh, there are five companies that have come and are looking for some uh, uh, projects or uh, application to be built in and we provide in Salesforce support right and we go there with a particular person who has no um, sales experience or who is not having any IT experience then that person is not able to convert the lead so we can select in those particular persons depending on what type of campaign we have right so this is uh, a general example of what uh, uh, we consider as the assignment rules so without wasting any time we will go into an org and will create some assignment rules okay I have my org open I'll click on setup and I will open in the assignment rules. Sorry. See, I can see that I have assignment rules only for lead and cases. Okay. So if I go on to a case assignment rule, okay um, it says automatically assign cases to user or queue based on the criteria you define okay you can create multiple rules but only one rule can be active at a time okay for a particular case one rule can be active at a time okay and uh, we can have um, uh, we can assign the criteria depending on uh, define assign the cases depending on the criteria we have so i am going to create a new case assignment rule rule name i'll specify as first assignment rule do you want to make it as active i will save it so what does it say i'll select the first assignment rule and what is the rule entry that we are going to specify in new what is exactly the criteria right i'll specify as sort order one when the criteria is met i will specify that uh, assignment rule uh, depending on a record type I'll specify equals uh, which all record types I have. I'll specify that for product support or for inquiry, I can have the rule criteria. Okay, if the case record type equals product support or inquiry, or if I specify only one. okay if the case record type is product support then assign this is my criteria i can have n number of criteria the filter logic in the same manner i can have a formula that evaluates the true it's a similar to what we did for validation rules or our formula builder this is what we get the filter uh, this is what in which we can evaluate the criteria but now I am going with a very simple approach of case record types equal product support. Then what we need to do is assign that particular record. Select the user or queue to assign the case to. Okay. We can assign to a particular user. Suppose if I select in that for the it should be assigned to the test user okay it says that we can assign to a user a queue i'll go to the point if you want to assign the cases to a queue we need to create a queue but obvious right 
and if you want to send an email that we need to have an email template right so uh, in order for uh, uh, escalation rules or for the assignment rules if you want a template then we need to have a particular template within our system I'll select any one of that but you guys know how to create an email template create your own email template depending on this scenario sending an email that a case has been assigned to that particular person okay I'll select in the custom email template uh, which we have created prior now if the criteria is met the record type is a product support the user should be test user it should not be me okay and if you want to specify any other teams that we can do so okay I'll save this up and you can see that case record type is product support assign it to test user and email can be sent I can have multiple criteria in here I'll create a new okay if I say that case origin equals web okay assign it to again test user I do not want to send an email this time I'll just save it now I am going to run I'm going to run uh, a case or I'm going to create a case with a particular criteria okay I'll duplicate this window so that we can get a clear picture of cases I'll go to case I'll click on new now we have two record types as inquiry and product support I have told you about the record types that what a uh, record type does it manages our pick list and it manages our page layouts so for product support case ideally what happens when you are creating a record it is being assigned to you right so if I select the record type as product support in the criteria we have specified case record type equal product support assign it to test user so when I'll continue this up and will uh, say uh, contact name account name okay I'll specify this status as new case origin as phone now I am going to save this up it is going to show me the case owner as I'll show and move into the details it is going to show me as Mm, uh, it should have shown me Ishan uh, it should have shown me exactly what the test user but it didn't show me as uh, the test user why so because if we go on cases I'll show you the uh, again whenever we create a new case then if I select in the required things what we need to do is optional section says assign using active assignment rule I'll select that then only it's going to assign it with that particular assignment rule now with record type as product support it should assign the case owner as should I assign the case owner as the test user now I am going to save it it's going to change the case assign case owner as the test user I hope you guys are now clear with what assignment rule does 
and whenever we are creating a record manually we need to check that field right then only a proper assignment rule is going to work i'll see one more case now it's for the record type that we did now if i have the record type as inquiry i will click on continue it is going to and with the owner as phone it's going to remain okay i should not miss it again assign it with active using criteria i will save it it's going to show the case owner as my name itself okay and if i go on and create new case with a uh, record type as inquiry and if i select the case origin as web what our second rule was the case origin equals web then it should assign it to the test user okay it's as web using active assignment rule i am going to save it so it should give me the case owner as the test user on any condition that is present in the rule entries it's going to fill in and create that particular assignment rule i hope you guys got it now we'll move into the escalation rules what are escalation rules escalation rules works only on the standard object called case we have seen our assignment rule on case we can do the same thing on the lead assignment also and uh, if we see for the escalation rule it works only on the case object escalation rule automatically escalate the case when the case meets the criteria defined in the rule entry it has it also has the rule entry and it escalates after a specific time that we need to specify in okay after it meets the criteria then the two uh, then the case is escalated escalated in the sense as i have told you suppose if there is i'll give you an example of an hotel and uh, or a food chain that delivers within 30 minutes and if uh, the food is not delivered the case is escalated and you have to give in free uh, delivery right so it's the escalation of a case that i was not able to receive the item within 30 minutes of my order so that's an escalation of a case right that's an example escalation rule checks for the criteria if the case matches the criteria defined in the rule entry salesforce run the escalation action okay so let's move into an org and create the escalation rule i'll go to setup i'll see for escalation rule it comes only under case object so under escalation rule uh, as i've told you for the assignment rule also and for case assignment also only one rule entry or one criteria remains active okay i'll click on new i'll create the first first escalation rule and i'll mark this as active what does it says activating this rule will deactivate the current case escalation rules to disable automatic case escalations deactivate all case assignment rules okay only one case assignment rule one case assignment rule and one escalation rule can be active for a case object or for a lead object in case of assignment rule so i activated this it deactivated the existing escalation rule so uh, what does the rule entry says we need to specify some rule entry within our escalation rule if i say that case created i'll specify the record 
type criteria itself if the case record type equals uh, if I say the product support I'll insert the same conditions specify the business hours for the escalation rule or ignore business hour okay um, it should be suppose uh, if I have created a case at uh, 7 in the evening and my every employees or the company shut downs at uh, 7 10 okay then we cannot escalate the case the case timings should be the case timings should be uh, uh, we should have a specific interval of time so that we can escalate the case the case the, the employee is not getting any time for the uh, to work on that specific case so it should not be escalated so this is what the business R means that uh, it should in use the business R specified or set business hours that we can do by ourselves or we can ignore the business hours if we work 24 7 how escalation times are set when the case is created when the case is created and disable after case is first modified based on the last modified modification time depending on the last modification time or depending on the creation time we want uh, the case to be escalated okay if i say the food delivery order when i deliver it after 30 minutes it should reach my place so i'll escalate it after that i will uh, create an escalation rule when it is created i'll ignore the business hours presuming my office works 24 7 and the cases can be dissolved i'll save the rule entry and after this we need to specify what escalation action that we need to perform okay escalation action says specifies the time criteria for this rule age over age over means that the number of hours after which a case should be escalated if it has not been closed if i say i'll specify for zero hours 30 minutes okay after 30 minutes it should be escalated i'll assign auto assign to some other user suppose i'll assign it to the test user notification template we can specify notify user notify this user i'll assign it to the test user i'll notify that person i'll also notify the case owner and i can specify which uh, five other email addresses to which the notification can be sent i will save this up uh, okay i need to specify a template i'll put in any template that I have and I will save this up reassign to a specific person notification can be sent to a specific person with a specific email template that we have now we have the rule as active and we can have a particular case created within an org okay now it's active and we can see within our i'll refresh it up again and i will um, see for any specific case okay i'll open it and i'll duplicate i'll open in the cases okay see i had previous cases after a 30 minutes interval of time so they got escalated so whenever now we are creating a case of product support because this is our in, uh, uh, entry criteria send notification and assignment we do not want it to do we do not want to run the assignment rule because we want to see that it should be auto assigned to the test user after 30 minutes of interval 
okay i'll create it with phone okay i'll give it a description saying or i'll give a subject testing escalation rule okay i will save this up so after 30 minutes of the creation of this it should mark this as escalated 1051 is the case number i'll show you guys in my next presentation that it will be an escalated case so that's it in today's presentation hope you guys have understood what assignment rule and escalation rule does please do and practice or create some assignment and escalation rules by yourself thank you have a great week ahead.